Drones are awesome. The ability to capture beautiful cinematic aerial footage has never been easier than it is today. As a matter of fact, if you wanted these cinematic aerial shots in the past, you'd have to rent a helicopter to get any sort of footage from the air. Even though it's never been easier, if you've never flown a drone before, it can be daunting when you first try. Hey guys, I'm Connor McCaskill, and today I'm going to teach you the basics of how to get your drone off the ground. And into the air. Let's get started. Just so you're aware, I'm going to be using the Mavic 2 Zoom for this video. DJI drones are all fairly similar, so this video will help you even if you're learning on the DJI Mavic Air, Mavic Pro, or any other DJI drone like that. The first thing to do is to make sure that your drone, your phone, and your controller are all fully charged. Basically, you don't want anything dying while you're flying. <laughs> that right? Okay, if your drone is collapsible, you want to unfold the drone arms. In the case of the Mavic 2 Zoom, Zoom, there is a particular way to unfold it, so just make sure to unfold your drone arms correctly if you're using a different drone. For the zoom, you start with the arms close to the camera and then you unfold the rear arms. Now go grab your blades. Notice that the blades are either marked white or black. Be sure to line up the white blade with the white motor, push it in and turn clockwise to lock it in place. And almost the same with the black blades, line it up, push it in, but turn counterclockwise this time to lock it in place. Now we're ready to power everything on. Connect your phone to the controller and then open the DJI app, which you can download in the app store. To turn on the controller itself, press in the power button twice, holding down on the second press for a few seconds until it turns on. Next, turn on the drone in the same manner by pushing the power button twice, holding down on the second press until it turns on. Awesome, now we're almost ready to fly, but first it's good practice to calibrate your drone. You don't technically have to calibrate your drone every time you fly, but just be sure to do so every time you're flying somewhere you haven't flown before. Now select the Go Fly button on your app and then select Calibrate. Calibrating is pretty simple, just pick the drone straight up and rotate counterclockwise 360 degrees. Then turn the drone on its side as indicated on your phone and rotate again counterclockwise 360 degrees or until the drone says you've done it. Now we're finally ready to get this little guy into the air. Huzzah! Probably won't use that. Huzzah! Just as a safety measure, be sure the area you're flying in is legal and clear for flight. Just thought I should say that. Okay, to start up your fancy smancy new drone, pull both joysticks to the center of the controller and down, basically as if it's cross-eyed or something. Now to take off, press up on the left joystick at an easy pace until you're a few feet or meters off the ground. Now just wait a second before you get all crazy zipping this thing all around. <gasps> Let's just quickly go over the controls. The left joystick controls your vertical up and down axis as well as your rotational left and right directions. The right stick controls your forward and backward movements as well as your lateral left and right. Find a nice clear area to practice these controls and really understand them as they are the most important in my opinion. Now let's get to recording some neat stuffs. But first let's adjust the camera setting so you know it actually looks good. You can do this by selecting this little icon here. On the first tab you can adjust just your ISO, shutter, and toggle between manual and automatic mode. On the second tab, you can select your video recording size, frame rate, MOV, or MP4 format, white balance, record style, color profile, and video codec. I would highly recommend taking the time to play with these different settings and see what works best for you and your preferences. If you are absolutely unsure what any of these things are, maybe stick to automatic mode for now. To get extra crispy footage when starting out, I would advise keeping your movements as as simple as possible. Try flying directly towards or away from your subject and maybe push up on the left joystick to add some dynamic altitude to your shot. Luckily, if you want more dynamic shots, DJI has programmed the drone to get more complicated footage automatically, which is great. Explore and play with all of these different modes, but if you're a new pilot, I would suggest starting out with the point of interest or active track modes first. If you wanna see a tutorial video on any of these modes, be sure to let me know in the comments section below. Additionally, you can use the left dial on the top of your drone to tilt the camera up and down to add to your shot. In the case of the Mavic 2 Zoom, you have the ability to zoom. On the screen, you'll see a 24 millimeter to 48 millimeter range dial thing that you can select from even while you're flying, which is really, really nice. All of these options and modes allow for more diverse shots, which are great. Before the drone battery dies and it just 
drops out of the sky. Let's learn to land this thing. DJI has made it super easy to land, which is much appreciated. But even still, if you're afraid to land it at first, you can press the home button located over the left joystick on the controller. The drone will switch over to autopilot mode and land practically wherever you took off from, which is really handy. Just keep an eye on it because it's not always perfect. I would suggest getting somewhat close to where you took off from before for using the home button. To cancel the auto landing feature, if something were to go awry, just click the red X on the screen and you take back control. To land it manually, find a clear flat area and hover it a few feet off the ground. Gently pull down on the left joystick until it touches down and then pull down all the way on the joystick and it'll automatically cut off the blades. It's not as hard as you would have thought. DJI has made it really easy. Now to shut everything off, you power everything down just like you turned it on. Start with the drone by pressing down on the power button twice and holding down on the second press and then do the same thing to the controller. It's always a good idea to remove the blades before packing it in your backpack to keep them from getting damaged so to do so push down on the blades and turn them in the opposite direction that you turned them to put them on. The white blades you'll turn counterclockwise and then the black blades you'll turn clockwise and then fold up your drone starting with the rear legs and then the front ones in the case of the zoom. And there you have it. Those were just the basics on flying your nice new drone. If I didn't explain anything well enough for you, be sure to let me know down in the comment section below and I'll try to clear it up for you. Anyways guys, I hope this video was helpful to you and as always, thanks for hanging.